Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So, amen? Amen. Well, Brother Thomas with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a, a look at the look of Jesus. What do we mean by that one? Well, how does Jesus see us compared to how we see each other? find it interesting. And one of the telling events that help us to kind of get a view of that is the calling of Matthew. In Mark's gospel, the calling of Matthew comes as Mark uses, refers to him as Levi, the son of Alphaeus, or Alphaeus. And Luke's gospel refers to him as the publican, Levi the publican, or the tax collector. Matthew had become a tax collector, uh, not a position that his own people would have appreciated, since the tax collectors were often ruthless uh, and he became a, a tax collector by bidding for the job, and the highest bidder got the job. And so the more you could extract tax-wise from the people, the better. And it helped you to line your own pockets as well as collect the taxes. So tax collectors were not well thought of. Matter of fact, the term pariah dog <laughs> is attached to the publicans, the tax collectors. And this is how both Mark and Luke refer to him in that way of being Levi, the son of Alphaeus, and the publican. But in Matthew's gospel, in chapter 9, verse 9 of that chapter, we read this. And Jesus passed forth from thence. He saw a man named Matthew sitting at the receipt custom. And he saith unto him, follow me. And he arose and followed him. Matthew records that he didn't see a tax collector, Levi, the son of Alphaeus, or the, you know, the pariah dog. He saw a man. Imagine sitting at the seat of custom, collecting the taxes, the looks of the crowd of hate and disgust and despise. And in the midst of that crowd, standing there, is this man who looks at Matthew with a look that penetrates. For when Jesus looked at Matthew, he didn't see the pariah. He didn't see the publican, the tax collector, the despised, the low life, the hated. Jesus saw a man, the man, Matthew. What a look this look must be that looks through the crowd. Matthew sees this look. Jesus says to him, follow me. And Matthew gets up and follows Jesus. Such a look that Matthew, the tax collector, in this position of money and privilege, as the Romans, hey, tax collector, you know, all right. You know. But through all of that, this look from Jesus touches a man named Matthew, and Matthew follows Jesus. How glorious is this? 
in each of our lives. There have been people who have known us before we were saved, before we were born again, Jesus believing children of God, and knew us when. Knew us when we were tax collectors. Knew us when we were sinners. Knew us when we had betrayed our people, our country, whatever we have done, whatever it is. Much like Mary Magdalene. Like so many. Like Peter, who's I'm I'm not not me, Lord. I'm <laughs> I'm not worthy. No matter. Doubting Thomas. Jesus sees through all of that. Jesus sees you. You. The person. Oh, he knows your sin. He knows your shortcomings. He knows what there is to know. But through all of that, part all of that, Jesus looks at you. This is the glory of God. This is the power of God. This is the love of God. That while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. His love reaches through the sin, reaches, it just parts us and sees you today. Know that as you sit at your seat of custom, wherever it may be, whatever it may be, that through the crowd of faces that surround you every day, there is one, one very special face, one who looks at you as no other can look at you, one who sees you can see you. And his name is Jesus. And Jesus sees through that, sees you, and says, come, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. This is the glory and the power and the majesty of an almighty God who reaches through and with love and grace and mercy says, come, follow me. And Matthew arose and followed him. There was no hesitation, second thought about it. What a look is the look of Jesus. Oh, amen. Oh, glory be to God. Jesus, today, know that he loves you and cares about you. Oh, yes, and calls you to come and follow him. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, what a beautiful day it is. Jesus, to share with everyone that we meet. It's a glorious, blessed, and beautiful day to be in Jesus. Amen? Amen.